Have you recently updated your iPhone's iOS and now your Safari tabs are looking like this? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to quickly change it back to the old way that we're used to. Before we switch it back, the benefit that Apple was hoping to push with this new layout is the ability to easily swipe back and forth between tabs like this. But if you have a ton of tabs open, then this is going to be pointless. And the positioning to me is terrible. Maybe if the address bar was back on the top, it could work, but it's not. So let's go ahead and change it back. I'll start by closing Safari and then finding and opening the settings app. Once you're inside of settings, scroll down a bit until you see the Safari option. Choose that. Inside of Safari, scroll down and you'll see the new tab section. You have a few options in here on how the tab bar looks and responds inside of Safari on iOS. The first is the landscape tab bar. When you turn this on and you're inside of Safari, if you turn your iPhone to landscape mode, you'll see a tab bar like you would on a desktop browser. Turn this off and then you won't. Website tinting will shade the parts of Safari where your navigation buttons are, like address bar, back and home buttons on the top and the bottom, to whatever the dominant colors are on the website that you're on. But to change the position of the address bar from the bottom of the screen to the top, make your selection here between the tab bar and single tab. After the update, the default was the tab bar. Change this back to single tab. And after that, you can then close the settings app and then head back into Safari. Now we'll see that our address bar is back at the top of the screen where it was before the update. And that's how you get Safari back to looking normal on your iPhone. 